Hello, and welcome to another All the Mod 6 tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about Applied Energistics 2. I have a basic inventory system set up here, and that's the primary purpose of this mod. If you look through here, you can see there's all kinds of cables and terminals and monitors and things like that. So the main point of all this is going to be the ME drive, which holds ME storage, all the way from 1K, which will hold 63 different types of items and 1,024 items total, to 64K, which will hold 63 different types of items and 65,000 items total. And then you have the fluid cells and the spatial storage cells. I haven't played around with the spatial storage cells too much, so I'm not exactly sure what they do. But then there's also wireless terminals and wireless receivers and transmitters. You can manage your inventory system very effectively without even necessarily being at a terminal. Now you can see my inventory is fairly loaded up, so hopefully I can keep this pretty short so that we can get through this quickly. But this is a fairly complicated mod, and there is kind of a lot to setting up a storage system with it. So the first thing that you're probably going to need is going to be an energy acceptor. This is a fluix crystal or a pure fluix crystal surrounded by quartz glass and iron ingots. Then we can get our energy acceptor. Now the reason why you need an energy acceptor is because let's say you wanted to use power reactors or a mechanism heat generator, which I don't recommend, but you could technically use a mechanism heat generator. You can use power solar panels. You can use anything Thing that produces FE. But in order to get that into your Applied Energistics ME system, you are going to need the energy acceptor. So far, I have not found any way to directly power an ME controller without using an energy acceptor. The next thing you're going to need is an inscriber, because if you look at the recipe for the ME controller, we have an engineering processor which is made in the inscriber using a printed engineering circuit, a printed silicon, and redstone dust. And then an ME drive requires two engineering processors. Then you're gonna need your glass cables, which is gonna be made out of quartz fiber. Okay, and then you're gonna need your storage components, and these are gonna have logic processors in them, which is a printed logic cir circuit, printed silicon, and redstone dust. Printed logic circuits and printed silicon are all made in the inscriber as well. I already have a few of those in my inventory. I'm gonna do one of these real quick here just to give you an idea of what you're dealing with. It's going to take a while for each of these to craft. This can use augments and that is these right here. You have your redstone card which allows for redstone input to affect your MEIO port, import and export bus, or fluid import and export bus. You can turn them on and off with redstone. That's all that does. The acceleration card, which will make anything that it'll fit in on that list there go faster. The capacity card, which is mostly for import and export buses. The fuzzy card, and this basically causes things to ignore specific data about stuff. So let's say you had a mob system hooked up to this and you were getting like a bunch of bows that were at varying levels of durability. You could use a fuzzy card to ignore durability on those bows and send them all to the same place. Once we've got all that, we're ready to craft our ME controller. Now you can only have one ME controller per ME system. So if I were to do this, that's actually going to stop that from working. Now the next thing you're going to need is an ME drive or an ME chest. The ME chest is effectively a smaller version of the ME drive, but it's almost as expensive to make as an ME drive. It just doesn't need the engineering processors. But at this point, you're going to have used the inscriber to make processors for your controller already. So if you've got the resources for more than just one engineering processor, if you can do three of them, I strongly recommend you do the ME drive because it's going to hold 10 drives. So then the next thing you'll need is an ME storage component. This is the 1K ME storage component. It uses a logic processor, certus quartz, or pure certus quartz, or just any kind of certus quartz really, and redstone dust. We have a 1K ME storage cell, and we just plop that right into the drive. And now we're gonna need a terminal of some sort to access that. Then we're gonna go ahead and craft our ME terminal. That does not work if you place it on the ME controller, nor does it work if you place it on the ME drive. So what you're gonna need, a glass cable, and that's gonna allow you to access all of your inventory. So a crafting terminal is just gonna be a terminal, calculation processor, and crafting table of some sort. The crafting terminal works on a glass cable as well so you can see I can drop everything I have in there which I can take this drive out of here it keeps its items it works like a shulker box in that regard the main reason why I'm covering this is because I've found that in my own personal playthrough of all the mod 6 applied energistics 
works flawlessly. Whereas with refined storage, I was having an issue where this number right here on a lot of my items in re refined storage on my personal playthrough was not accurate. It would say I had like 348 lapis lazuli when in reality I only had, you know, like one stack or something like that. And then it would say I had items in there when there was nothing in there. It was it was very bad and confusing. Had me running back and forth a whole bunch to figure out what was really going on. But Applied Energistics works very, very well. It's pretty much identical to Refined Storage, but without the glitchiness that I've experienced with Refined Storage in all the Mod 6. So I would recommend if you're going to make a storage system, go with this one. It is more expensive to set up. It is going to take you a little bit longer to get your pieces all assembled because the inscriber takes so long to print things but in my experience refined storage is not as reliable but anyway i think that's going to do it for today's video i hope you have a great rest of the day i hope you found something useful here if anything i've put in this video has helped you please leave a like leave a comment down below let me know if you have any questions also i'm happy to answer them and we will see you in the next one so take care and bye bye